Also this afternoon, an Irvine mother convicted of sexually assaulting two teenage boys has just been sentenced to prison. KTLA 5's Courtney Friel live in Fullerton Forest where the court hearing just ended. Courtney. Lou, she has been sentenced to quite a few years in jail, and she's already spent some time there since the charges were initially filed back in early 2012. But her lawyer tells me this has been extremely devastating, this whole ordeal to her whole family, including her three teenage children. Nicole McMillan remained emotionless as Orange County Superior Court Judge James Rogan issued her a sentence of three years and four months in prison. Last October, a jury found this 44-year-old mother of three guilty of four counts of lewd acts upon a child and three counts of oral copulation of a minor under 16. Deputy District Attorney Whitney Bukowski had pushed for more jail time but says it was appropriate. It was not the max. The max was seven years, um, but I'm satisfied with the sentence. McMillan's lawyer, Salvatore Chula, pleaded for his client to get probation instead, adding that she's already served 296 days in jail. Very uh, sad day for Mrs. McMillan and her family. And her family did not want to talk afterwards, but husband Joe, her sister, and parents were in the courtroom to show support. Judge Rogan said he would have considered probation had McMillan shown some remorse. Ms. McMillan to this day continues to deny the offenses, and she does so despite making damning admissions, which were tape recordings that were played in evidence during the trial for the jury. She has denied, and she continues to deny. The alleged sexual encounters happened at McMillan's home with her teenage son's friends who came over to play. At the time these crimes went on, this mom also worked part-time at an elementary school and was a behavioral interventionist with the Tustin Unified School District. Now McMillan will be banned from those places when she registers as a sex offender for life. There are just different things that she's going to need to comply with, and it, it will make things more difficult. McMillan has 60 days to appeal this decision, and her lawyer tells me they're considering that option. But it's likely she can get out of jail earlier than expected because of prison overcrowding. Reporting live in Fullerton, Courtney Friel, KCLA 5 News.